Well guys, it's day two of cutting wheat. Wheat's averaging really, really good. Right now it's averaging about 97 bushels to the acre. Moisture's at 15. The previous fields that we were in yesterday, they were a little bit drier. This one is just a tad, just a tad wetter. So, yep, day two of cutting wheat, and we got, we got a pretty decent amount to go still. It's 1.30 right now, so I reckon we'll be done by, eh, I'd say, 4.30. And I sorry, I'm apologies about the late upload. I wasn't expecting it to take all night for my video to upload until, what was it, about 8 o'clock this morning or 7.30, somewhere in there. It said that my video had uploaded. So, I guess these longer videos make a longer upload, I, I guess. Running about 2.7, 2.8 miles an hour. Had to slow down a little bit because the weed is so thick and the yield is so good that we had to slow down so that the combine wasn't blowing it out the ass end or was leaving it on the ground. So, we were going about three miles an hour yesterday. So we've only had to slow, we only had to slow down just a little bit. But, yeah, so far so good. Noticed a pattern in this field uh, where we drove at the sprayer where it left tire marks. The yield is just a little bit lower and where the wheat didn't get driven on with the tires, the yield is fantastic. See over there, you can kind of see the tire marks where we sprayed this with 28. Uh, over there, that next pass is probably not going to yield as good as what this is right here. And why that little gap is there, I have no idea. But anyways guys, it's running pretty good. Still got the strong windrows. It's gonna be a lot of stinking straw over here, that's for sure. So I'll go ahead and get this round finish and do a little video of me unloading. in about 9.84 acres per hour which isn't too bad and I got the reel a little bit lower than what it should be at because I'm trying to get the wheat that's down where the sprayer drove it ain't ripping the stalks out of the ground or isn't really breaking any of the heads open real bad so I'm not really too worried about it but I am keeping an eye on it you see kind of like right there how it's not really cutting like it should that's why I'm running the reel a little bit lower than what it should be actually probably could go down some more It's a little weird looking at the rear. Oh, now see, it's a little too low now. Always gotta be making adjustments. Is the reel too high, too low? 
just kind of got to just kind of get a good idea and just keep an eye on it. So far so good. Monitor's giving me a little fits. Every once in a while it wants to do like a little uh, timeout thing or whatever. I just have to hit the accept button and then it just goes right back to normal. I don't quite understand what the deal is with that. I don't know if the signal's bad back here because of the woods or I don't know what's wrong with it. You'd think I'd like the technology aspect of it, but some of this stuff can be a royal pain in the ass. So far we've cut about 2,040 bushels so far, dry bushels, but that number is a little off a little bit. I think it's a, it should be more according to what the grain tickets from the grain elevator are saying. Moisture dropped a little bit, it's running around 14 and a half to 15 couple spots it'll get a little closer to 13 but other than that it's it's dropped a little bit every once in a while I'll hit a 14 or a 15 percent my 15 percent spot but it's around 14 15 5 right now it's drying off a little bit just that reel some more Yeah guys, these strips right here are from the sprayer that I showed you earlier that I was talking about earlier. So it's going to leave behind a little bit of wheat because I don't want to run the head too low and scalp it. But um, Other than that, we're doing pretty good. Go ahead and get up to the truck here. I'll go ahead and do a show you some more unloading. doing this one handed guys so bear with me
far so good with just one hand. <laughs> remember one time my dad didn't close the bottom hopper or the gate on the truck all the way one time he came back and I had to get my ass down there and get it closed that was with corn though that wasn't with wheat Another hopper full down. Well guys, the 2016 wheat harvest is officially done. 100, 100 acres of wheat officially done harvesting. Overall this year, uh, or the season I should say, was pretty doggone good. Didn't have any major troubles. Everything ran like it was supposed to and I think the place that we sell our straw to is going to be fairly happy. They're definitely going to have a lot of work to do, that's for sure. So, hope all you guys that were or still are cutting wheat have and had a good wheat season. I'm going to go get the truck loaded, get the head taken off, and probably head to, back to the farm across the street over there where that woods is right in front of us. That, that was where I used to live, guys. If you remember me saying in my previous videos that I didn't always live in the house that I always live, right there, right in front of us where those trees are, that was where I used to live. I used to live right here across from that church and in that house, that farm over there, that's where my grandparents live, my dad's mom and dad live. But yeah, this is where I used to live before I moved to the house that I'm at now. So anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave your feedback down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button up above. And until next time, I hope all is well.